Hey guys, um, this is Alan from Taisei Financial. How are you today? So, well, um, here is a good news for you. So, um, the well, a lot of you have been waiting for the um the mobile version of the Binance Option platform with the um social trading in it. So, um, the good news today is that um the platform is been released and then you will be free to use the the mobile platform to trade by using the um social trading. So, well, um, there are actually um, some other updates or upgrades on the mobile platform as well. So for today, I will go through the updates and the improvements on the platforms and as well I will be um, demonstrating how you can use the social trading on the um, mobile platform. So uh, well, first I will um, try to show you how to set up the social trading on the mobile platform. It's slightly different with the um, the desktop version. Just um, stay close with me and then just to try and see how I set up the social trading on the mobile platform. So uh, well, to set up the social trading, we will need to go to menu um, on the top left corner. So click on menu. Then um, on the first um, selection there, we have social trading. Then we open this um, drop down. It's actually a drop down. So um, click on it. And then now it's the same as the desktop version. So in here, we will choose the traders that we want to follow. So uh, well, for now, just um, just going to choose all three of them. So I just put a tick on, um, just tap on the checkbox and put a tick there. Okay. So play tick on all three of them. Then now, after we selected all of them, then we click on start to activate the social trading. So um, just click on start in the, um, just right below all three of the traders. Okay, click on it. Then now, on the left hand side, you see trade now. If we click on this trade now, we will be able to head to the chart and then we will be able to use the social trading. So now we will click on it. Trade now, then now here we come to the um, the, the chart. Then um, on the top left corner, we see social trading activated. So it's the, this one is the same as the desktop version. So if we see this um, sign here, it means that the social trading is activated and we are already um, able to use the social trading on the mobile platform. Then now, uh, well, same as the, um, the uh, desktop platform. So in order to use the, um, the social trading better, we recommend to use the one click order. So uh, which we will click on high or low to execute our order without clicking on purchase. So to set up one click order, we go to default setting. So click on it, default setting. Then um, at the bottom there we see one click order, now it's off. If we click the off to turn it on, so now I can turn it on, then uh, now we will go back to the chart. So click on back to go back to the chart. Okay, so now you see at the bottom there, the purchase button is gone. So the moment that we click on high or low, that's the moment that our trade is gonna be executed. Okay, so well, um, just another minor update on the indicator that I want to tell you is that it's for the oscillator. So to show you better, I will um, try to um, activate the oscillator first and then um, you have a clear idea on the update. So we click on this indicator and we go to oscillator. Okay, go to oscillator. Then we just select a oscillator. So let's say RSI. So we select the RSI. Let's click on RSI. Okay, then we open it. Uh, to just the setting. Just click on the setting. Okay, so now you see overbought and oversold. So that is the update that we put into the mobile platform. So if we turn this to to on, then if we go back to the chart, just click on back. Okay, just click on back and back again. Then now, there we go. So you see those two blue lines? Those are the um, are the, the overbought and oversold levels. So that is actually quite convenient for those of you who are um, into using um, oscillator because um, 
it used to be um, you have to find the level by yourself but now if we input a value in overbought and oversold the platform is going to set this two level on the exact value that you set so that's much more convenience if you are into oscillator so um, that's a, uh, well, a minor upgrade to the, um, the mobile platform so uh, well um, that's it for the um, oscillator upgrade so um, now I will just um, deselect the oscillator and then I will um, try to make a few trade with the social trading by using the um, simple moving average as well. So um, now let's go back to the indicator setting. So let's go back to the indicator. So I deselect the RSI. Okay, then I go back to trend. Okay, go back to trend and I will select the simple moving average. Will it take on simple moving average and now we select the simple moving average then we open the setting for simple moving average okay open the setting then in here we only using uh, one simple moving average so we deselect the SMA1 and SMA2 so now we only have SMA3 selected with the parameter of 100 Okay, so well, now we have the simple moving average on our chart and the last thing we need to make sure is the chart period and option period. So the chart period is at the bottom. So in here, we need to select 10, 10 seconds. So I'll be using a 10 seconds chart to trade with 30 seconds options. So the option period is at the left hand side on this button here. So after we make sure of this, we can make few trades. Okay, so well, there we go. That is a downtrend. So um, now the simple moving average is on top of the candlestick and it's heading downwards. So that is a downtrend. So I'm just waiting for a white icon to come out. So, okay, so well, there we go. Okay, so well, there is another update on this platform is that when we place an order, a detailed section of the position is going to be appear on top of the chart. So in here, you will see all the um, detail of the position. So the, reman the remaining time and then um, the, the price and the sell, out price, um, the sell payout. So everything you need to know is in here. So it's much more convenient um, for you to have a better control on your position. So that's one upgrade we've done to the platform. So well, the trade was ended in draw. So well, um, it's okay, um, I will try to look for another one just try to show you a profit trade by using the social trading so uh, well um, for this platform we try to make it easier for you to use and in fact it's actually much more easier for you to use as well so we actually enlarge the purchase button as well so the high and low is bigger now so um, okay well now I placed another trade so it's uptrend, so the simple moving average is below the candlestick and it's heading upwards. So, and the green icon comes out, so a trade that opened it a high position. So, that's why I opened my trade there. So, um, well, again, the, the mobile platform is much more easier for you to use now. So, all just go and try it out, and then um, if you do have any question, you can always ask us. Okay, so well, um, the trade is end in profit. So I'm just gonna show you how to take a look at the history on the mobile platform. So we go to menu, okay, click on menu, and then we go to trade history. Okay, go to trade history, open the drop down. So now this is the history for today. So I make two trades, and one will end in draw, and then the other one was in profit. So um, that's how you see the history on your mobile platform so uh, well um just try out the mobile platform well it's and actually up to you if you want to use the desktop version on your android or you want to use the mobile version on your android it's all up to you so both of them you will be now able to use the social trading and um, depending on which one you think is more convenient more easier for you to use you can use um, whichever so um, but since we have upgraded the, um, the mobile platform, give it a try and uh, let us know what you think of the platform and um, if you do have any question on 
any of the operation on the mobile platform just feel free to let me know by putting a comment down there and then I can get back to you and explain it to you more so uh, well that's it for today thank you for watching if you love my video give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more live trading video and I will see you soon again tomorrow bye